One low for me, boys. Let me secure the kill. <laughs> and of course, finally, RTW and IO uh, on Luna, sorry, with the no tail IO down in the bottom lane. Will be against the general Anx with Roger on the Shadow Demon. Already a pretty quick move from OG to get down to bottom lane, looking to secure some early observers and sentries, break through that large camp tree line. <laughs> pings no tail still wants to break as many trees as he can here so shadow demon won't have an easy time hiding away in the fog let me spot out general seconds to battle nothing skilled up for iltw just yet it goes for the lucent beam level one put a bit of damage towards them but navi you have three heroes down here light striker a after the disruption catching rtw trying to body block yeah, body him inside her. lucent beam comes and rtw he's not going to survive this Ooh, with the heal coming through the magic sticks two magic sticks in fact io and luna both with one saves the day for the luna oh they're pinging they <laughs> uh, no tail tweeted about birds pro like how many pings uh, are they using and now they're trying yes. to increase the number like epic kid is the one that has the highest uh, ping usage in the game so they're trying to match up A very interesting take by no tail like you could see yeah. seb was mad pinging on iltw yeah i noticed that in vp games if there's a pause you want to take off your headphones when the pause resumes because the amount of pings that suddenly appear on your screen is pretty ridiculous Battle hunger level one from General, but no tail. Turn this back to RTW. Still a good amount of damage here from Na'Vi. Getting up in the face of OG very early on. Hours. Yeah, that first rotation, kind of forcing them to use uh, multiple tangos and the healing cell could uh, be a changer in this game. Like, OG is ready with the sticks. Like, they were prepared what they're going to be against in the lane. Uh, can still recover like that. Healing salve is uh, gonna make the difference because, like, No Tail right now would gladly use it and bring Luna to full HP and uh, heal himself up. Also, something here the Luna against the Shadow Demon. Very often we've seen them paired together for the illusions of Luna to yeah. come out. It's gonna be a really nice, strong ability there for Roger to utilize against OG. I think. Uh... Into the other lanes, though. During the Epic League, Enigma, like at the start of the tournament, uh, picked as the last pick into Shadow Demon, and it was not good because Shadow Demon had one job like, I'm just gonna use ulti on Luna, Disruptor, and uh, kill her with the only illusions. Top lane looking pretty decent for Navi. V2 and farming away, of course. Dinner. Centaur not too bothered by this, though. And so far, Seb has done a very good job tracing the movements of Always Wanna Fly and keeping the harassment on him. And then into that mid lane, Zeus at 10-1. Puck has caught up. I noticed a little bit of a disparity earlier on, but Thompson had another wave coming in to meet him. <laughs> Zeus. Yeah, interesting that Thompson didn't start with the magic stick. What is he bringing right now? It is a stick and the Noltali recipe. There it is. Probably still going to be his build, right? The double null urn, brown boots, e blade. Try and zap people down with all that magic damage. This bottom lane just continues. RTW's run out of mana, but they've got two full sticks to pop. Maybe they can move forward, get in onto Roger, but Shadow Demon not. Not really worried about giving them stick charges, he's just spamming out the shadow poison non-stop. Also, no tell not afraid to just use the stakes because they're spamming so many spells to keep the mana going on Luna and oh, Luna has 10 stick charges for herself. Seb's dying. Vichin secures it. This time, Seb not respecting the level 2 of Lena. Fly Striker A with a fiery soul, giving those extra right clicks from Always Wanna Fly. So a good first blood there for Na'Vi, getting up on the board structures with a PA who claims it. Mid lane station on a mid lane. In. Shackle. Oh, He's Zeus has a bottle and the mango. I don't think they're getting the skill. Thompson's Thompson incredibly low. Careful. Pops the stick, has a fairy fire, waiting rift forward. Thompson's going for it. The shackle's there and Seb going for the right clicks. Iceberg, he's got the lightning spam, but he doesn't have the HP to sustain it. Good move from OG. Yeah, Seb was very patient with that shackle. Just made sure it's going to connect. Rune spawning in 15 seconds. Thompson 
very low on HP, but bringing the healing cell. Playing Roger, dropping low. He sure is, and this Luna with the right clicks finishes the job. And now they can turn. They have uh, five stick charges on Luna. There's no way Axe starts to play aggressively. You see Axe just putting a second point in counter helix. I might, you know, start to struggle a bit as uh, time goes by in this lane, so might need to just be in the jungle. Does cancel the tail end of the cell. But no tail's already done the job of healing up RTW. Oh, always want to fly, escaping from Seb and Kezu. Yeah, it looks like Windrange are going to be taking that urn. So Topson, wait, wait a second. Double Topson urn. And Seb, Lacoste, you've got some words about this. So, someone needs to sell it. Like, whoever buys it first, the other guy needs to sell it. What, what they can do is can not say? lose the gold Major if uh, you already buy a second one. Is Like, if you want to give priority to one of those, just put it in the backpack uh, when you're near the kill. Like, just to uh, be sure that the other guy gets it. Well, that's a lot of regen going down the drain. No Tail loses out on his courier with double stack tango. It's six right now, so they need to start playing aggressive and check the bottom lane. They're going on RTW, trying to stack up poisons, but very defensive positioning here from OG. Plenty of one charges for Luna as well. 16, she's going to just have to pop it now, surely. She's fine. Times. The extra region from the tower, extra region from Io, <laughs> keeping her alive. Oh, and a D ward. 40 seconds before it was about to expire. Nice bonus gold. The Thunder Gods Wrath lands as Topson. Dreamcore's mid. Iceberg just whacks him with a lightning and looks for Seb now. Bottling up. Level 3 arc lightning. I don't know if he can actually finish off Seb. Maybe with the punches and the Thunderbolt. Mm, not quite enough. And Centaur's TP. Really putting the fear into Iceberg there as Kazu will cancel it in the end. Rune spawning in 10 seconds. I want to see a rotation from Navi just to secure the rune for Iceberg. Triple Null Talisman already done. One thing Iceberg does with the Zeus whenever he plays it is the Aghanim Scepter Rush. Like most of the time, he just loves to get that Ags more damage, allows team to play much faster. You have that extra damage, especially with the, like just the setup, Shadow Demon's Disruption, Axe Call, even a dagger from Phantom Assassin might give you two hits from Nimbus. Yeah. Triple Null Brown Boots, and then it gives you the option later on to you know, Blink Dagger, Boots of Travel, whatever you may want. They did finish off both urns, Wind Ranger and Puck. Radiant structures are fortified. It's still a pretty good early stat efficient item. Topson with Dream Coil ready. Thinking There's about the a bottom mid. Roger, sure what is. a bro. Like, he tried to secure the rune. Uh, RNG said not this time, so he goes back, um, <laughs> even though he did not need to go back and TPs just to give Zeus a better time in the mid lane. Do you think that will get changed next patch? No, I think that's completely fine. Bottle refill is completely fine. Okay. That was such a broader move. Radiance courier has been. General killed. snipes out the courier as No Tail loses it for the second time in a row. And Seb, chased back by Roger. We'll have to leave that dire jungle for now. And this leaves RTW and No Tail a lot of free room to maneuver. Axe is just trying to cut creep waves while Luna farms through a couple of nice stacks for himself. As I already mentioned, like Axe will have a really hard time just oh. farming the lane. Top. Kezu set up for this. Dream Coil catchers always want to fly. They don't find the PA though. Seb, power shot. Little slice through the trees. He tunes out of there. Seb's like, the fuck, man? I'm not, I did not get the urn charge. What happened? Maybe I was not close. I'm pretty sure they know they have two urns by now. They've got to. Surely. Well, there's a bottle refill for Iceberg with the Illusion Rune. 1300 gold already saved, so point booster can be purchased towards the Aghanim Scepter, which you rightfully said is queued up already. Holy Trinity! General trying to finish off his phase boots. Desperately want to try and get that Blink Dagger for the catch ability. That's, that's interesting. I suppose going to be taking out all the stacks. They've built these up, and I thought maybe the PA would come and clear them, but I, I guess Iceberg would level 4 Arc Lightning much faster. 
Yeah, and the, I talked about the Aghanim Scepter Rush. He wants to get it, so I'm completely fine with that. You know, just giving him the farm instead of PA. And the PA struggles to farm those creep camps before the Battle Fury. So you're also giving enemy opportunity to just come into your jungle and farm it. Dyer's middle tower There's a lot of stacks attack. here for Iceberg, actually. At a large camp like stacked four times, medium camp stacked a couple of times. There's another large camp that's stacked once as well. Oh, relocate top on the shackle shot. Oh, it's on a fly, double edge. The white strike array doesn't connect, so they dive the tier one. They want the PA as well. Blurred up V-Tune is back into the trees, cuts through a little path. An avenue back to safety. And that relocate will return. RTW and No-Tail back down to bottom lane. Zeus has made a move up top, and they want to take down Kezu. Thunder God's Wrath is ready if they really need it, but with the Arc Lightning, they've got more than enough to bring him down. Radiant and on the ball, actually mid lane, Thompson gets a solo kill on Roger, might even uh, try to go on all his want to fly. Yeah, he's oh, in. He's going for earned. it. Double kill. <laughs> Giving a double kill to Thompson like that. More earned charges for the puck. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And finally, he has a hero that can buy Ethereal Blade that doesn't rely heavily on just landing Dyer's those right clicks. Exactly. Attack. Well, Axe giving up a little bit on cutting those waves now. Very afraid of Thompson's rotations. He's gonna make a little base camp back in the triangle, probably farm through the ancients and these large camps himself. Closing in on Blink Dagger, but. Well, I was wondering there with the General, maybe considering buying something else. Stat items, aura items, but they need the jump. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard for them to start a fight without the axe, maybe like disruption, but they need to bring numbers. Disruption into LSA and Lina, who is position five this game, is level six, while Shadow Demon only level five at the moment. Yeah, trying to give Roger a bit of time top lane. But RTW's rotation with the catapult wave seems perfectly timed. As OG lose Thompson in the mid lane. Thunder God's Wrath there as Iceberg slaughters the puck. Yeah, seven and like, I got top. this. Listen, you RTW's just died. Jumped. I still Stamp have a second tower. urn. <laughs> yeah, true, but he's got no charges on it. Dyer's top tower. Zeus is, is hasted, tower. sprinting across the map and looking for Kezu. Tries to stomp and turn, but the Laguna Blade's there. Level six on that Lena, you called for it, and Iceberg is dominating on this Zeus. He's got Ags in 200 gold. It's going to be a 12-minute Ags. Th this could be a, like a great groundbreaking Dyer's item where like, they start playing more aggressively, 600 gold away until Ags gets his Blink Dagger and they can get so much use out of that Aghanim Scepter. Radiant's top tower. So now for OG attack. trying to bunker back. Good stacks on their camps here, but they're relocating bottom for the shackle shot onto General. He calls up RTW and goes to the TP home. Lucent Beam's coming, not fast enough though. Really well played by General there, knowing his timings with a level three Berserker's call. 2.8 seconds. And then OG back into that triangle again. They've got a big, big old large camp there for RTW with a Mask of Manus to farm. With Dragonlance, yeah, Axe like queued. Luna, I do not want to take fights. I don't have a point in Eclipse at the moment. So Thompson. I'll be just farming. Super aggressive on to always want to fly. And there's the Nimbus with Vtune there. Trying to finish him off and the puck is just gone. Space Surprise. Created. Yeah, let's pretend that was worth it. So. Radiance Middle Tower. All right, I like what attack. I see. Like you talked about Luna being, you know, mixed damage, magical and physical. This is going to be magical first, then into physical. I see Aghanim Scepter queued up. It's easy to set things Dyer's up with the puck, like you just attack. orb and use it on him, uh, stampede to close the gap. And that Centaur Blink is coming reasonably soon as well. OG spot out the rainbow TPs coming top lane. Some hefty defense of the tier one tower there. Navi not giving up anything. They want to keep V-Tune farming in this jungle for the Battle Fury that is now completed as And Thompson. he gets deleted from what? the game. Already used the phase shift. And Zeus like, I'll take it. A freebie for Iceberg. Gold on Zeus, yeah. He's got 8k net worth. 
Dyer's bottom tower. Laguna Blade on no tail now. Io drops, so the two supports pairing up. Oh, he's gonna fly with a, a massive amount of burst damage. Na'Vi really setting themselves up for a great mid game. As long as Iceberg can keep himself out of harm's way, this guy is going to keep pumping out magic Radiant damage really consistently. They jump bottom lane, RTW, half HP, but the shackle shot from Seb keeps the PA away. General's fast though, speeding forward, the Stampede will save them from that call. RTW being chased with the Nimbus and a blasting damage from Iceberg. Na'Vi cruising now, One Seb, diving tier one. Win the range of what you're going to do. Yeah, you're going to get zapped by the God of Thunder and dunked by Axe. And this is also going to be a Radiance tier one tower, tower like fallen. Zeus, Aghanim, Scepter is giving them that extra kind of a stuff they needed because both supports, uh, you know, they can make a rotation, uh, Shadow Demon needs to use a disruption, and that's pretty much it, it's very hard Radiance to engage any kind of a fight with position 5 Lina. Aghanim, Scepter gives them the extra damage that they needed, Thanks. Zeus very close to probably what is uh, Boots of Travel. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. We didn't yeah, talk too like much it. about Phantom Assassin. She finished her Battle Fury as VKB and they're so queued up. She chilling. I think you need to get BKB because uh, there's just magical damage, like 100% magical damage from OG. They have no right clicks. And PA, a pretty decent hero up against the Luna, being able to gap close on her. Get the damage forward as OG smoke into attack. the enemy side of the map. I think that scan might just have clipped them because Iceberg has walked all the way back towards Fountain. And he's not going to go boots of travel. Picks up a Kaya. So aiming for that Bloodstone as they blink call RTW Nimbus and they absolutely slaughter her. Luna dead yet again. This damage from Na'Vi just finding every pick off they need. Centaur has a blink dagger, but cannot find any openings. Like Navi's positioning on the map right now is really good. They're reading OG's movement. And you know, there's the shackle. It's a level four shackle. So let's see. Yeah, it should be enough damage. Coil as well. On to always want to fly. Two support pickoffs here as OG. They do grab a couple of quick and easy ones over on always want to fly and Roger. But you're not putting the pressure on the PA. V-Tune's farming away. Zeus is still in that triangle. And you can't actually bridge that gap. As Na'Vi are just putting bodies in the front line. Bottom tower so another attack. smoke from OG. Really desperately looking for a kill. And they found the target they wanted. Zeus being burst down. That's that is the kill. kill. 500, almost 600 gold for Kezu. Kezu does not have anything... Uh, queued up at the moment, just finished his face boots. Uh, it's a really good pipe game. Ton of magical damage on their side, especially coming out from Zeus. Luna just bought the Blade of Alacrity. Uh, you know, getting closer to that Aghanim Scepter and uh, Puck also. Thousand gold away from E-Blade, so this is gonna be like sick combination if they can use it E-Blade someone with uh, Luna's oh. Eclipse. Dyer's yeah, and then the item drop. They'll have the timing of the mech on Io as well pretty soon. Just needs a, just a please, sir, a little bit of gold dial to W. There, let's relocate bottom. You, you, you go farm somewhere. Let me hit creeps in the jungle. Dyer's oh, thank you, Luna. Has been denied. Iron talent for RTW clearing through it easily. Navi are coming in though. They feel they know where they are, and Thunder God's Wrath is going to actually get them the jump they need onto RTW. Nimbus there, but the Kezu with a turn. Blink Stomp, but the Light Strike Array misses. The Dream Coil catches two of them. Thompson, he's got the turnaround play. He's actually got always oh, on a fly trapped inside, and that's it. Beautiful. OG bring everybody into their triangle to make sure that RTW is safe and sound. They need to bring one extra Radiant's hero, and that extra hero should attack. be Shadow Demon. You know, Demonic Purge inside the Nimbus will give them like three procs, probably. With the axe, uh, it might give them even more. Phantom Assassin finished BKB, so she can join the fights right now. E Blade done. It sure is. Radiant are scanning. Seb with that blink dagger. Looking for the jumps. General Axe TPing top, but without the rest of his team. 
Roger, Vtune, the whole squad smoking up from the tier two, maneuvering north into their jungle. Seb and Kazu frontlining. They'll break the smoke on the Lena. There's the Blink Shackle shot. Finding always want to fly. But PA has made the bigger jump on towards No Tail. But they've got Stampede running around in circles. OG, they're sprinting around and Navi can't stick on a target. General's going to get blown up by the E Blade of Thompson. Phantom Assassin they're stuck in the trees. They're going to find her. The blur's there, but the Phantom Strike back. Nice blink from Kezu. Actually catches, but doesn't have the squad as Thompson jumps in, and now the Eclipse. Triple for Thompson, and OG have done it. Yeah, this is going to be something that they're going to struggle against. Uh, BKBs are not going to come out. Uh, like, yeah, Phantom Assassin has a BKB, but uh, what is Axe going for? He has a Blade Mail, which is... Uh, Okay, still not gonna save you. You might get a return kill because of that blade mail, but the rest of the guys should really struggle against this. And now with Wind Ranger having that blink Dyer's dagger, it allows her to just get a good jump and set Dyer's things up for the possible attack. either like second follow up puck jump or just uh, Luna's Eclipse. And Luna goes back for more of a defensive type build, which I really like, you know, getting that uh, BKB. And uh, she also bought the tome to get uh, closer to level 15, minus uh, loosened beam cooldown. And uh, he says, well, screw it. I'll also get E-Blade. Like, you're not going to be the only one who's going to have fun in this game. Oh, they're relocating bottom step as Hoodwink the Axe into this position. Shackle shot's there, but the fun goes round to the Nimbus. General, he's dropping lower, but he doesn't get the call. As Vichun arrives onto Seb, trying to blow up the Wind Ranger. Another Shackle shot on the Power Shot turn, but the Wind Ranger's down. Relocate out will mean OG have to retreat. Thompson wants to go back in, but he doesn't finish the job and always want to fly the Stampede out. Blinking away off to the left-hand side, so only one casualty there as the Wind Ranger falls. It's still gonna be tough attack. for Navi to take this fight every single time, like the coil and the eclipse is up. Double E blade. I don't think I've ever seen a professional game where there were two ethereal blades, especially the in the first uh, 25 minutes of the game. <laughs> yeah, pretty uncommon item. It's a sweet one though. Octarine also queued up for LTW. Check and Phantom some... Assassin's quick buy. Th this looks really weird, like triple neutral <laughs> hammer. Sometimes we see, you know, triple ultimate orb when uh, they want to finish off uh, like Mantis style. They have every other component and they also want to go for Scotty. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. V tune to try and make sure that nobody can touch him. Disruption into Nimbus. RTW going to get relocated out, and No-Tail yet again positioned nicely to save the day. The E-Blade blow up. Thompson's going deep. They've relocated forward. They didn't retreat. They aggressively played onto Roger. Shackle shot also connecting there onto the single tree next to the outpost. Always want to fly. Blown completely off the face of the map. And RTW on a killing spree as OG stamping their place in that dire jungle again. General and Vichu back in as far away as they can and General, well Iceberg, sorry, hiding in the trees in the top northwest corner of the map. This is OG's land. <laughs> Navi, like that one that on Zeus really cost them. They were Dyer's having a momentum. They needed to keep going. Radiant's and uh, is under attack. did this item belt on? <laughs> but OG, they go in, try to blow up one of the supports, uh, reset. Still very limited lockdown on Navi. <laughs> they have Axe Call and they have LSA, but that's position five Lina with no items. So she's very burstable. Thunder God's Wrath for Vision, but Kezu immediately stampedes. This PA BKB super important, but the fact that Zeus and Axe don't really want to be buying one. Making it awfully difficult here as always want to fly. They actually jump deeper with the relocate. They want Roger instead. Disruptions on the Thompson, but it doesn't matter because he's already dead. Taking down the two supports again. OG, you just... You can't meet these guys in this jungle area. Navi have got to give up this top jungle and just play bot with a PA. So you can use uh, two Lucent Beams 
during the E blade the, to amplify the damage. What's the damage right now? It's only 300. Our scanning. 40% more. That's not too bad. Now they run back into the Roche pit. As a blink call catch. Finding Seb Windranger, but he got the wind run off. And now the stomp. Kezu initiates E Blade up onto Bichu. And he's got a BKB and he's going to use it. Turns on a Seb and kills him off. But the second E Blade there, the Blade Mail does bloody nothing. Bichu's got to run away because that Eclipse is slaughtering Na'Vi. And look at Seb. Aggressive blink again. Moving forward towards the Na'Vi ranks. And Roshan opens up for OG once more. Yeah, I mean, when you think about blade mail, it does not uh, get you any more tank here. It just gives you full <laughs> sense of security that uh, you can go in. I don't mind blade mail, especially on Axe, but he also needs uh, BKB to be able to just, you know, stand his ground, get to the second uh, wave of initiation or just a second call. Because I see Shadow Blade queued up and don't think much value out of that. Sure, I mean, he might be thinking, I'll try to get a pick off, maybe uh, get the better you know, positioning and uh, try to surprise with the jump on Io, so we burst him first with the Zeus. Stampede catch. Oh, dear me. Well, I did tell him to go play bot with a PA. And OG are like, well, you know what? We can come down here as well. Denying the bounty room really too. rough, I would say, for Na'Vi. Even though they have Phantom Assassin, she just finished off her Deso. Level 20, minus armor corruption. It still feels like OG and... Uh, Phantom Assassin needs to be very careful about how she's going to use BKB. So yeah. OG will try, you know to bait BKB with some of these ethereal blades and then uh, fall back, reset. Uh, Kezu finished his pipe, so there's gonna be some extra magic resist against the Zeus, which is gonna be very handy. And he's octarine cores too. Thompson's gonna have one. Luna's gonna have one. Spam out these spells nonstop. Dyer's middle tower. Tier two mid lane tower. now. As OG, really relentless in the way they're controlling this map. We've not seen too much from Iceberg in the past Radiant five or six minutes. His net worth has slipped now down to third position. Yeah. I mean, he had, what, 13-minute Aghanim Scepter with three Null Talismans, then finished Gaia and then managed to farm up a Blink Dagger. Has fallen. Shackle shot. Ooh. Seb was fishing for it. Decent Na'Vi vision, though, keeping tabs on OG in the meanwhile. Topson is still smoked and hasted, though. And look at the two supports. They're pinging out. Topson, he's got the perfect jump. Two-man waiting rift. Dream call there. E-Blade zap. Blip call, though, in from General. Catching Topson, blowing up with the Luguna Blade and the call. General gets the slam down onto that killing streak, but Kezu finishes off that Shadow Demon as the relocate not coming. Kezu's left up here alone. v is going to blink in and find a bonus kill. Wow. What happened to Relo? Nah. I, I did not see. I was just watching Kezu try to get a kill. Axe with another good call on Seb. So pretty Where's decent the follow on? Under attack. I don't really have a way to catch up to him. Lean I gotta say, here. ILTW seems uh, much more comfortable playing with OG guys than he did at the start of 2019. Feels like yeah. he really improved. Maybe, you know, back then you get invited by OG, you're like, maybe not, uh, you know, getting the best out of yourself because you feel like you need to, you know, be that guy they want to... Uh, TI twice, so it's um, it's it's a tough one for him, but it uh, feels like he really, really improved. It's all those pubs he's been playing, like, you know, 20 a day or something insane. Practicing all the chat wheel and voice line spams. There's ILTW with that Aegis and the Eclipse Aghanim Scepter. Roger forced to use the disruption defensively, but now he's isolated and slain by OG. Na'Vi with no turnaround play. The rest of them looking to collapse towards the dire base as well. Once Lina gets to level 20, the extra 100 damage on Lucent Beam, which is amplified by Ethereal Blade, and the Eclipse, of course, 
God, they're having so much fun in this game. PA knows where Puck is. But Kenzu's here to back up Topson. Navi feels like with the smoke they've got, got on Lena, I want to make a move. Radiant are scanning. A very solid radiant scan there, knowing where Navi are lurking around. And OG just going to gather up, play into their vision. Make sure they have they 30 seconds the left. Aegis. Maybe they could try to go and uh, grab a tier 2 tower. Don't think you want to go for tier 3s, especially with uh, no Eclipse. Bit limited on the tower damage. You have Puck and you have Luna who, you know, went for a different kind of item build. Still decided to go for Hurricane Pike, so... Maybe he changes things up. Oh, General's in position. Or that relocate is devastating as General's initiation is beautiful. Narvi are bound two really big kills there as OG very greedy with their relocate down bottom lane. And the good guy, General, leaves the kill for V-Tune. So that's extra 600 gold to Phantom Assassin. That was such a big top right mid play from Navi. Never mind, General's tanky enough to withstand the burst. Thompson, Dream Coils forward, and they've just fed away three kills in a row. Oh, gee, uncharacteristic slip up there. Way, way uh, over greedy. <laughs> Trying to make the most of the map, but General and that Navi play exploiting OG's maneuvers. Radiant's middle tower As I said, they're top. having too much fun. Radiant's Luna middle might tower need to start fallen. thinking about uh, getting the right click damage items, because eventually. Like, this is gonna fall off. Phantom Assassin, once she gets that Abyssal Blade, uh, Satanic after for some status Radiant assistance, extra HP, so she can't be bursted that easily. That, that's a full Abyssal. Like, this is a good timing. Zeus with the Refresher, so double Nimbus, double Radiant's Thunder God's Wrath. Under attack. Lots of damage from Iceberg Zeus yeah. and a smoke. And Luna changes her item build, at least in a quick buy. She feels like this Octarine core is not gonna win us the game. Like, I, I need to be matched up uh, differently against Phantom Assassin. And you need that BKB against the Zeus as well. OG not gonna fall into the trap of Na'Vi as they are smoked up, holding the area in front of Roshan. Just no, over a minute until that fast spawn is available. And OG, do they have a smoke? because they're all here together. Glimmer caping Kezu forward, power shotting the scout. No smoke, just reclaim that area of land which Na'Vi tried to take. So Roche may respawn in 50 seconds. OG will just try to outpush the lanes and uh, try to grab it. It might be a bit tougher. Zeus now with that uh, refresher that we mentioned. It's gonna be so much damage, especially inside the pit. And Axe decided to not go for the Shadow Blade, which I really like. Just yeah. goes for that BKB. It's a 10 second BKB. Level 20. Interesting. He goes for Calling Blade Trash Hold. Radiant so 600 HP. Um, kind of like that because you have burst damage from Lina, especially from Zeus. So you can dunk someone faster before the mech comes or like before there's a relocate play. Could make a difference. Yeah, kind of 100 to zero someone. Yeah. With all your spells. And it is that anxious, itchy time around the Roshan respawn. Both teams in a standoff across the river. OG with a bit of a, a leg up, the fact they've got relocate and they can TP bottom to push out that wave and force Na'Vi's hand a little bit. So it feels like it's on <laughs> Na'Vi to make the first move. OG, step ahead though. 
playing 5D chess and smoking themselves. General's on the high ground. A blink stomp. Kezu gets the first play in. Life Striker A connects onto him with a shackle shot there. And they found General. He doesn't use his BKB in time. Stampeding in. They've also found the Shadow Demon in the back. Glimmer Cape's up for a second there as PA slays Thompson thanks to the Nimbus. But what can B2 do now? With another Nimbus down, they're focusing into RTW. The BKB doesn't matter against the physical damage of this Phantom Assassin. And the Luna relocated oh, out. out. No tail saved the day, but it doesn't go too far. Eclipse turn around, but RTW saved with the Hurricane Plank and the E-Blade. Oh my god! OG! Oh, such a big play. Millimeters! And relocate save, and then using the Eclipse, everyone's like, yeah, Luna does not have her BKB. Let's go on her. Uh, the problem was... Axe didn't get any spells off, did not get the BKB on time, and the early Roche spawn, so this is gonna give OG advantage that they needed. Like, they need to have this Aegis on the Luna. It's also gonna be Cheese. It's being pinged out. Uh, Luna has a courier, tries to go for Scout, maybe gets the Cheese, but the bounce from the Moonblaze instantly kills the courier. The next level play. These relocates from No Tail have been absolutely spot on. Not back to Fountain, not into other lanes, just a, a thousand range away from the team fight, so the re engage is there. Navi have to reset, collect their thoughts, and really consider what the next plan of action is. Relocate top to shove out that lane. Radiant are scanning. Kezu Centaur waiting to break the high ground and gather up some bounty runes. I'm just again, at Thompson this. and what he has in, a, in the quick buy, Octarine Core. Oh, he did go back for Bloodstone. Yeah, he's had Octarine queued for a while. So shifting Bloodstone, then back to Octarine. Silence. No high ground vision, though, from either side in this area. So difficult for Na'Vi to breach out of their base. Dyer's Equally difficult for is under attack. OG to make that first foot really pay off for them. I'll just come back and farm some jungle, you know, casual Lacoste. Hit some creeps for a little bit. Yeah, maybe there's the Zeus revealing things to see where they are. Phantom Assassin <laughs> wants to go for Aghanim Scepter. Like, lower the cooldown on Blur and instant the spell against E-Blade could Dyer's work, like you can dodge things with attack. it, so... Illusion. Okay, would still prefer Satanic to be more tanky and uh, be able to stand your ground and have, like, a budget Aegis once you pop that Satanic. Dyer's bottom tower has budget Aegis. <laughs> Na'Vi scurrying around trying to keep these lanes out. But they can't separate. They need to be that five-man squad. OG so good at picking them apart. Dyer's middle if anybody shows attack. himself on the map. <laughs> Game three in this best of three upper bracket final. You know, it's a great opportunity to get into the grand final of Dota Pit. But you do have that opportunity in the lower bracket. I just don't think you want to face off against either Enigma or Alliance. Oh, there's the relocate. And the Nimbus on top jump? of them. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think you want to go on this. There's Io with the Holy Locket, Cheese, and Repair Kit. Look at this. Maybe on the way back. Sick. Maybe on the way back. PA is wanting no tail. The Cheese pop. The BKB there from the PA with the Thunder God's Wrath and the Hurricane Pike out. The Abyssal Blade forward. PA jumps no tail again. Axe. He's not going to find the jump he needs as the Eclipse does come out and always want to fly. He's blown up thanks to the Dream Coil and that Luna ulti. Seb, Invis, Glimmer Caped and sprinting forward, but Na'Vi, yet again, scurry back to their base, forcing the buyback of Io. Was that just a one-for-one -one trade with a buyback from No-Tail? Oh, and Luna finds Illusion Escape, so there's going to be oh. more bounces. Doesn't have the Manta style, so... But still, it feels like a very, oh, very poor item. Shackle shot! Seb! He's got the opening, but the disruption save in from Roger. Kezu now way too deep. And they've also jumped onto Thompson's puck to the tether forward. Laguna Blade does nothing. And Thompson's got a Bloodstone charge there to heal him back up decently. Glyphing up their tower as this Luna with the illusion doing some serious damage and nearly blowing up. Always want to fly in the back lines. Retreat now from OG, though. 
Another banish from Roger makes them all lunar illusions. They know. Careful though, the BKB forced to come out as the Aegis still being held by LTW. They see where that Shadow Demon is and they E played him, nearly kill him. The final Lucent Beam will do the trick. No buyback on Roger and always with a fly blown up as well. Both supports down and Na'Vi in a three versus five. OG have broken the base and they've got Green Corner too. The Centaur stomp dodged by the two BKBs, but Thompson annihilated by the 2K crit, but they've lost their barracks. And I don't think they're gonna stop. Like, uh, they don't have Thompson. Uh, Luna will have Eclipse in 17 seconds, so they can try to fake, fake it like they're going back. Are there any smokes left? No. Also, full Lincoln Sphere completed on Vendranger. You know, just for that, uh, like, Abyssal Blade jump or to use the disruption on Luna, which uh, is kind of big. I see Shadow Demon, like, he wants to get that Aghanim Scepter because it could make the difference, the break mechanic against Luna, so there's uh, no Moonglaives, no Lunar Blessing. Oh, Spell Prism, like, Puck will say, yeah, give me that instantly, like, this is my yep. item. Straight away, he grabs it. And he just reclaimed in five seconds, they already used the cheese in that previous fight. So in terms of Roshan goodies, we are back to even. Phantom Assassin, a good 5,000 net worth behind the Lunar at this point, though. How, how much would you say... Oh, Axe? Nope, never mind. Doesn't find Seb. How, how much would you say that... Uh, you know, 30,000 net worth on Lunar. If you were to give a percentage increase here with the IO tethering her, you know, would you say it's like 30% increase? 40% increase? In terms of actual effectiveness of her net worth? Um, I'd say... 25 to 30 percent. That's a good guess. number. Shackle shot. Never mind. Oh, gee, just poking. And back we go to Na'Vi cowering on their side of the map. They've had some good bursts of play. But you, you mentioned it, right? Running out of smokes, running out of those opportunities. Holding one currently and always want to fly. And Zeus now has to deal with that bottom lane. Holding his refresher orb for these double Nimbuses, double Thunder God's Wraths. P8 actually decided to go for Nullifier. Like she sold one of the components, not sure which one she had for the Aghanim Scepter and uh, just sold it. Because they can have, like, these ethereal blades uh, using defensively. Uh, there's also a Glimmer Cave that can be dispelled. A uh, Wind Run. You dispel the Solar Crest. That's plenty of good things to dispel, aren't there? OG playing into the lane they've already pushed. So Na'Vi do get an opportunity to at least get out on the other lanes. Phantom Assassin. In a pretty forward position, though, without a Shadow Demon nearby. And here comes a relocate. OG want the outpost. They all also want the jump. Centaur and Windranger not able to catch just yet. Long range here from the Lunar. If she can make that Eclipse play work Eclipse out. They're killing off done. the PA. Oh, my God. V-Tune. 100 HP. Barely gets off the BKB, but the three-man core comes in the top. And then the stop. Landing with always want to fly. The Lunar. Lena dead. Lunar's fine. Lena's dead. Tongue twisters galore. But no buyback for always want to fly. It doesn't matter that much that, uh, you know, your position 5, who's Lena, does not have buyback here, but uh, Zeus has a refresher ready. There's uh, the relocate play to the top lane. Just no tail. Just, you know, casually farming. He's also level 23. Like, everyone's... They spotted a DD. Yeah, everyone's really high on uh, on levels. On OG, Puck, level 25, Vanigrift, AoE, and range. <laughs> And with that Octarine, let's check uh, the cooldowns. Phase shift, 3.25 duration with the 3.6 cooldown. Not too bad. Uh, he can almost perma silence people. 3.6 second cooldown with uh, 3.5 duration. Radiant are scanning. OG, have them herded into the space like sheep. 
Na'Vi really in struggle city now. 32 to 22. And OG making this net worth lead count. This has got to be it. The smoke out of the base, but Centaur's the front liner, and so is the Wind Ranger. Shackle shot will hold them back. And again, this smoke, the play from Na'Vi comes to nothing. General has to phase boots and try to get away, but they've also caught always want to fly. The jump from Kezu takes him out, the stampede forward. Shackle shot saved up onto the axe by that disruption, allowing him to blink into the base. But they are again down a hero with no buyback as Thompson makes the jump in onto V-Tune. The mini stuns, no PA for 100 seconds. And this is OG now coming in with a closing move, diving fountain to take out Zeus. GG's call, the game three goes the way of OG. Yeah, those mini stuns with the timeless relic actually uh, having deep operation, so you have an extra mini stun. That's why PA was not able to almost use a BKB there in that fight. It's Man, crazy uh, the fact she could, can't do anything. Yeah, o OG with uh, some uh, different itemization. Do it to high load.